we have oppressive heat across the Midwest, as you can see here on this map, from Kansas City up to Minneapolis, Detroit, St. Louis, Nashville, all these areas in this heat wave zone. And as you can see right here, Cincinnati area, Ohio Valley, they're seeing an excessive heat warning anywhere from 95 to 100 degrees in this zone. And of course, the humidity and everything else adds to that, making it feel like it's 105, 110 in some areas. And then across the country in areas where you do see 105, 110, it doesn't feel as miserable as some of these areas because the humidity is not there. I was just out west at U in Utah, 107 out there, and yeah, it was hot. You could feel it, but it was not like 107 around here with humidity. That makes it feel like it's just everything's going to melt. But this is life-threatening, and it is causing issues for people in terms of breathing and things like that. And what's odd is while it's producing this massive heat wave here in these areas, we're seeing others that are getting hit with snow. And I guess that's not too much of a surprise for some of these areas, British Columbia and the Arctic ports needing icebreakers in July, they're saying. Normally they don't need icebreakers in July, and now they, they are needing it. So it's showing where the weather's sitting as of right now, and they're saying that on the heels of this massive heat wave, so to speak, that's being pushed through the United States, there's going to be a cooler front that comes on the heels of it. That way, next weekend, we should see a lot cooler temperatures and it should be a lot better for people out there that are having issues in terms of breathing and things of that nature. But I'm going to leave a link here talking about these temperatures. Hoping everyone has a safe holiday week out there. Stay cool. I'll leave links below. And stay tuned for live streams right here on Dabu 7-7. Peace.